Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add this navigation menu to your spreadsheets. What this navigation menu does is it has the ability to select between different sheets. And then when you select, it will automatically highlight that sheet and it will take you to whatever sheet that you're looking for. And then there's also the option to collapse it down to just the icons and you'll still be able to select from your sheets from the icons. This is gonna be a really useful trick to make your spreadsheets look a little bit more professional and add a little bit more functionality to them. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting with a completely blank workbook and the only things that I've added to the workbook is just a title here and we're just gonna use that to let us signify what sheet that we're actually working with and then just a logo that we're gonna use in our workbook um, and that's gonna just allow us to um, have a logo up in the top corner and this would be like your team logo or whatever company that you're making this sheet for or so that's what we're starting with and then before we get started on this project just a quick reminder that if you could like and subscribe to the channel that really helps me out and it helps me keep these videos coming we're trying to put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday right now. So if you remember from the intro we are creating a navigation menu on the left hand side of the sheet and I would create menus like this in projects that I'm doing for clients and this just allows them to navigate through the sheet without really having to worry about the tabs down here at the bottom. It makes the sheet look a little bit more like a software as opposed to... So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have four sheets that we're gonna navigate between. So I'm gonna create those and if you see down here in the bottom right, there is a sheet called sheet one and I'm gonna rename that to settings and I'm gonna create um, duplicates of that so move or copy move to end and then I'll create a copy and I've just right clicked this and there's the option there and I'm going to copy this kind of four times because I'm going to create four different sheets that we are navigating between and the reason I'm copying them is just so that I always have that menu or sorry that title there where I want so my next one is going to be exercises and then my next one is going to be data and then my final one is gonna be dashboard. So I'm just gonna put in the titles for those so that when we're navigating between them, we know kind of what we're doing. Okay, so now that we've got our sheets created, let's start to create this menu. And the first step that we're gonna take is we're actually gonna just resize these columns. And the first one, A, it works really well if we size it down to about 50, and then for B, if we take that out to about 150 pixels. So I'm just gonna drag that till it gets out to 150. And it looks like that. And all I've done to do that is when you go up to where the column is, there's an option to select the side or select column and you can just drag that out. The other option, if you wanted to, we could right click on here and go to column width and then you could type it in there. The only reason that I don't usually use that is because the pixels gives me a better measurement than if I was to type in here if I went 150 it's gonna make it look massive. So it's not really the same kind of measurement. So I usually just measure mine in pixels. So I'm gonna make that 150. And then the next piece is I'm just gonna put a blue kind of border down the side here. And I'm gonna take this all the way down to about basically row 70. And I'll just color that in blue. And then we'll put in this actual logo here. And this is just a logo that I kind of found on the internet, but really it could be anything. And an important piece for this is once I stick that in there, it's gonna be for the first three kind of cells. And I'm gonna merge those in center and then stick the logo in there. So stick the logo in there. And then on this logo, I'm gonna right click it and go to format picture. And if I click over to this option here, size and properties, I'm gonna to go to properties and I'm gonna choose move and size with cell. So when I close that off, the reason that I've done that is if I was to hide column B, what you can see is the, the picture actually shrinks. And one of the functions that we wanna put into our menu is that we want it to be able to shrink down to the icons. So if I unhide this again, you can see that it's going to size with the column that I'm working in. Now it's just about creating the actual bot where we're gonna put in our cells. So the first one we're gonna do is just I'm gonna take columns or rows five and six and merge those. And then I'm gonna do eight and nine and merge those and 10 and 11 and merge those. And inside of five and six, I'm gonna go white font, Arial black, 
and I'm going to type one settings. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, left justify it, put it in the middle and make it a little bit bigger. So we can bring it up to about 16 font and I'm going to copy and paste that into eight, nine and nine or 10 and 11. And we're going to go um, data and three dashboard. And we'll just make it actually a little bit smaller font because that way it all fits. So there's our three kind of options. And then inside seven, we're going to have an option to have different settings. So I'm going to type 1.1 and then I'm going to go to exercise it. And I'll color that the same color white and make it Arial black. And it's going to be a little bit smaller. And if I center that, it kind of makes it look as if it's sort of a sub menu there. And then, so the, the next pieces that I wanna do is add these icons in. So I'm gonna go merge and center on the different kind of cells that I'm working with. So I'll merge and center 10 and 11, eight and nine and five and six. So I got boxes in there and I'm gonna put an icon in there. So to add an icon in Excel, what I can do is I can select there and go to insert and then there's an icons option. And I'm gonna type in settings and see what it kind of gives me. And I, I mean, this is a this is an okay icon, so I'll insert that in there. And you can see it's made it big, but I can shrink it down and stick it inside that cell so that it kind of matches. And then if I go to graphics format, I can color that in white. So now we have that settings icon, and I'm gonna copy this down to data, but then I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna go change graphic from icon. And for data, Let's type in data and see what it gives us. It's going to give us sort of a spreadsheet icon, but this is sort of a database icon. So we'll use that one. Actually, we'll use the one that's more colored in and I'll hit insert and you can see it's changed it to sort of a database icon. And then let's copy one down for our dashboard. And I'm just going to center this out again. And then when I click here, we'll go to change icon again, right click, go down to change icon and we'll go from icons and we'll go to graph because we want it to look like a graph, I think. And let's go with sort of this graph here, hit insert. And there you go, that's our, our three icons that we're actually gonna use. <clears throat> so that's how we create what the menu actually looks like. Now what we wanna do is actually add some functionality to it. So for the settings, what we're gonna do is actually add a link to this. So what I'm gonna do is right click it and I'm gonna go down to where it says link and click there. And it opens up this insert hyperlink option. I'm gonna choose place in the existing document or place in the document. And I'm gonna choose the settings um, tab. And then it's automatically gonna have A1 as a cell reference and I'm gonna hit okay. And you're gonna notice it's changed the color of everything, but that's okay. And when I click this, it's gonna take me to A1 of this settings tab and I'll do the same thing kind of for the icon. So I'll go to link, settings, A1, hit okay. And then just to put the color back quickly, if I select the data, I can right click this and just paste the formatting so it makes everything look kind of the way we want again. I'll escape that. And then for exercises, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go down to link, exercises, hit okay. I'll just color it in manually. I'll take the underline off that makes it look like a link. So that's exercises. And then I'll do the same thing here for data link. We'll go to the data. Do the same thing for the data graphic data. And then I'll do the same thing for dashboard. I want it to link to dashboard. And it's really important to do this first because that way when I'm gonna copy and paste this in a second, it's all still gonna work. I'll take the settings, copy it, and I'll just paste the formatting and hit okay. So what you're gonna notice now is we actually have this basically working. When I click exercises, it takes me to exercises. When I click data, it takes me to data, and when I click dashboard, it takes me to dashboard. So now the next piece of the puzzle is all I have to do is now kind of copy this and add in the right coloring. So we are currently selected on the settings tab, so I'm just gonna give this a light gray color to signify that we're selected on that tab. So I'll give it that color there, and I'm gonna just copy this whole thing. So I'll go down to the bottom where I've selected it from 70, and I'll select all the way up, control C, and I'm gonna go to the exercises tab and I'm gonna paste, right click, and go down to, um, if you see, paste special, and then there's an option to paste column widths, 
and I'm gonna post that, paste that. And now that I'm selected on the exercises tab, I'll just color that one in. Don't need this icon anymore. So now you can see what's working is these first two and I'll do the same thing a couple more times. So control C all the way, go down to data, right click, and I'm gonna paste the whole thing. And for this one, we're gonna give it that color again, but we're gonna put the blue back. So I'm gonna control C and then paste this back in. Control C. And I just have to change the color underneath this graphic. The only problem working with graphics is uh, when you select it, you actually select the cell. So I just need to do kind of start beside it and then mouse over. And I want to change the color on all of these. So go back to data. I want this to be that blue color again, but I want the gray to exist underneath this here. So that looks good. And then we'll copy this one more time and go to our dashboard and right click and paste that in there. Don't need this anymore, I'll delete that. And I'll select these two cells and paste. And I'll select these two cells and paste. And you can see now basically our menu is done. And you can see that as I click through this, it's gonna work. I'll take this picture out. Now just to clean this up a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer, if we're on settings, we wanna be able to see the mini menu on settings, but if we're in the data, we don't necessarily wanna be able to see that. So when I click to data, I'm gonna just delete this row out of the data one and the same thing with the dashboard one. So now you can see what it looks like is when I click on the settings, it looks like we have a submenu that opens up, but when I click to data, it closes back down again. So that's just a quick way to sort of clean the whole thing up. And now the last thing that I wanna do is I actually wanna group one of the columns so that we can actually hide it. So if I was to hide it, all we're gonna see is these icons. So we're gonna group the B um, column and then what that's gonna look like is if I go to B and then data and I can use the group function and I'm gonna do that on each one of the sheets. I'll show you what that does in one second. So now what I have the option to do is actually open this or close it down to just the um, icons. And it's just an easy way for me to kind of shrink this down a little bit and give a little bit more um, real estate to whatever I'm looking at on the sheet. And it still kind of provides me with the icons that I want to get to the different kind of spots. But I have this, I have the ability to open it back up again. And then one of the last things we can do if we want to make this look a little bit more like a software is I can hide all of the grid lines on the actual sheet. So what that's going to look like is if I go to settings and then hold down control and click exercises, data and dashboard, and then go to view, there's the option here to turn off all the grid lines and turn off the headings. So what this does now is now you can see that Excel looks a little bit more like a software as I'm clicking through it and I'm not actually using sort of the headings and the grid lines and things and then I could define my boxes here, have clients type in here, type in your exercises here and we can kind of define what we want people to see. And if we wanted to take this one step further, what I could do is up in the top right corner here, we go to the ribbon display and go auto hide ribbon and um, we can hide the formula bar. Basically, now we have the option to only see our sheet. So I'm gonna bring the ribbon back and I'll hide the formula bar under view and then hide the ribbon. And now you can see that this doesn't even look like an Excel sheet at all. It just looks like a piece of software that we might use to kind of program off of or, or kind of do whatever we want. So there's a, there's a quick trick on how to add a menu bar to your Excel sheets and also how to select multiple sheets at the same time and do the same edit across multiple sheets. If I wanted to take it one step further, I mean, we could easily add all of our sheets in here and then be, 
keep adding to our menu and have a lot of different kind of options going on here. So I hope this trick helps you out and makes your projects look a little bit better. And if you like this video, please like and share it to the social media of your choice. And I will see you in the next video.